At first, I was on the, the bandwagon of anyone but Moncada. And then after I saw him play, I mean, that was way too small of a sample size to look at Moncada and say, um, this guy isn't going to pan out. <laughs> and the selfies were getting old, too. I was, I, it's weird that that factored into it. When he left, I was like, well, I don't have to see those selfies anymore. Like, yeah, that was one of my first thoughts. I was like, thank you, God. Like, I fucking can't wait to unfollow you on every social media network imaginable. Like, you are fucking insufferable when it comes to how much you love yourself. Not a good defensive player, yet. Not a good base runner, yet. And can't hit a fucking curveball. Like, how would he react to getting booed? How would he react to, uh, you know, me, like the Felgers of the world shitting all over his life? Like, a person that takes 500 fucking selfies in a day obviously thinks very highly of themselves. So to hear the, the reality that maybe you're not as good as you thought you were, how do they react to that? Probably not well. It's tough because he got all the fame and all the the hype and all the money and that was all in his pocket without having all to the quite do anything. And, and all the ladies and he got that without having to do anything and you know that they're DMing him. You know that he's getting messages. He's getting, oh, hey, baby, how you doing? You know Mankata was getting that. And so he's like, wait, the more selfies I take, the more, hey, baby, how you doing's I'm getting. Let me take more of these. If you were to ask me gut feeling, does does Mankata work out in Boston and become a superstar? My gut instinct says no. Mm. My gut instinct all, says All that aboard this the Yon Mankata smear campaign, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My, my gut instinct says that this is not a market that he would have thrived in. Put him in the bathroom. Get your selfies in the bathroom. Get your cars in the fucking bathroom. Get in the bathroom.